Hi everybody, Marilyn here with Cotton and Chocolate. I'm here talking about mineral matrix and this is August and we're doing month block seven and I'm actually gonna be doing block seven and eight. We're catching up this month. So get ready to be doing two blocks, but they're really great blocks and I know you'll have fun doing them. So block seven is, um, looks like this on your printout. And when I'm piecing, I'll show you what it looks like in the quilt. And it's actually just in the, in the printout, it's right here in the quilt. But you'll see it live when I'm actually doing the piecing. Okay, so right now we're just talking about cutting. The cutting is pretty straightforward. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fabrics. And so again, watch your fabric one, two, and three, just like last month, so you don't get them confused. Go to your, hopefully you have your swatch chart like I do to keep these straight or look at them closely in the video. Um, so fabric one, you're gonna cut four, two and a half inch squares. Fabric two for half square triangles, you're gonna cut four, three and a quarter inch squares. Fabric three is the change for the flying geese. You're gonna cut four, three inch squares. Fabric four, you need two cuts. You need one large five and a half inch square, which I cut off the end of the big strip first. And then I cut four, three inch squares for flying geese also. So always with my flying geese, I'm moving from the three and an eighth inch cut to three inch, just like I've done every month. Uh, fabric five, we need one four and a half inch square and then four three and a quarter inch squares. Fabric seven, one large five and a half inch square for flying geese. And then our last cut is fabric eight for four two and a half inch squares. So that's all our cutting for this really pretty block. And I'll see you back here for the piecing.